Hello everyone and welcome to Editrainix, one of the best online platforms for PTE preparation and to guide you with Australia visas. I am Nandini Watts and today in this video I will be telling you what you should do once your student visa is rejected. So watch the video till the end because I'm sure it's gonna be of great help to you guys. So let's get started. Getting an Australia student visa is one of the most important steps while planning to study abroad. So every year more than 900,000 students move to Australia to pursue higher education. So you should carefully examine the documents required like the financial stability of around 20,000 Australian dollars, an acceptance letter from the university and a minimum of 42 marks in PTE. Here there are two cases, visa rejection and visa refusal. So your visa can get rejected on the grounds of fraud or forgery and visa rejection might even lead to a ban on applying for any other visa in the future. And in visa refusal, there might be some reasons why it might get refused like unfulfilled entry requirements, you might not have met the academic requirements needed for the program you have chosen at the university, you might have failed to meet English language requirements or to prove the financial stability, the documentation might be invalid like the dates of the passport might be expired, because of an unacceptable international student health cover, you might not have been able to give a valid statement proving your intention behind moving to Australia. Or you might have got some past criminal records, even a minor criminal background can lead to visa rejection because Australia is very particular about criminal incidents. So these are a few reasons why your visa might get rejected. Now what to do after the student visa refusal? See, if an Australian student visa gets refused, students have the right to appeal to AAT, that is Administrative Appeals Tribunal. So within 28 days of student visa rejection, you must submit the appeal letter for reconsideration. Now this appeal time varies on why your visa was rejected and also the type of visa. Once you appeal, the AAT will send you a letter confirming that you, they have received your application. The AAT will review your application for uh, reasons for your study, your immigration history and other details related to it. Based on this, AAT will give you a detailed written decision regarding your visa application. The committee decides on the basis of factors such as uh, your circumstances in the home country, reason for entering Australia, value of enrolled course in future, immigration history of an applicant and any other relevant information. So uh, for uh, the appeal, you will be required to pay 1,896 Australian dollars, which is around 1 lakh 1,082 INR for reviewing. But students with financial needs can get up to 50% fee waivers. This fees need to be paid before the deadline while submitting the application. Now, when you will be appealing to AAT, then you can share additional information with AAT officers to support your visa applications like previous academic qualifications, what are the reasons for not pursuing a course in the home country, information about returning to the country after studies, acceptance letter from the university, relevance to the course and future job opportunities in Australia, and information from other people to support your case. So after doing all these procedures, next is what to do if the appeal to AAT fails. If the visa gets rejected, even after the appeal to AAT, then you have two options. You can send applications to federal court, however, it is done only in the cases when there is some legal error in the decision by AAT or you can write a letter to the minister requesting his personal discretion to grant you a visa, mentioning very compelling reasons. However, if the minister intervenes, the decision is generally favorable. So pursuing an education in Australia is a big deal and you should treat your visa application carefully. It needs to have all the documents attached to it so that the process is smooth and your Australia visa is not rejected. So that is all my friends, stay tuned for more informational updates like this, till then see you, bye bye.